Okay, here we are in Galveston, Texas with um, Scott Hickman, and he's just going to say a couple words about um, an innovative program for recreational fishing here. We've got a new program here we're doing in, uh, in the Western Gulf. We started it here in Galveston. It's called the Catch Your Fishing Experience, basically based on the commercial IFQ system, uh, which is low waste, high conservation values, and, uh, and it's just a great time. We go out and teach people about these uh, new new systems, these catch here systems, and uh, we have a great time on the water doing it, catch a bunch of fish, and then we're getting ready to go out and have a, have a great day on the water. Yeah, here we are, what, about 26 miles off the coast? Yeah, about 20, actually about 24, 25 miles off the coast of Galveston. A little choppy today, uh, water's a little off color, so we may have to run out a little bit further. We're fishing some near shore wrecks and putting some fish in the boat, both for the fish market and for the folks that came on the catch here experience that wanna buy some fresh fish there and take them home. And uh, great way to fish. You can fish you around under the catch here. Uh, there's very little waste in the system. All the fish are accounted for. We'll put them across a certified scale when we get back and go on the IFQ website and these fish will be deducted out of the count. And, and uh, you know, there's not a lot of waste. You don't overfish the fishery. So the rebuilding timelines to rebuild this fishery can actually happen. Instead of being like a can kick down the road year to year. And, uh, like we had on the recreational fishery that I fished in for so long, we were, Oh, I think we overfished our annual catch limit 18 out of 20 years. So it's nice to be able in a fishery now that it's good for the fishery, help the rebuilding. Uh, you know, I've got two 15 year old daughters, so you know, I'm actually participating in this program. I'm leaving the fishery off better than, than I found it, and my kids will have a future in the fishery. Okay, here we are with the fish killing crew. And I got a few already. How long did it take to get this many? Uh, we're just a few hours in. <laughs> Not too long. Oh, just most of, of it was most of it was boat ride, so <laughs> we're probably 30 minutes into fishing, all told through the day. But we're blessed in this part of the Gulf to have a lot of natural habitat, a lot of banks, rocks, natural uh, hard bottom areas, and uh, you know high production of, of fish. You were saying that uh, there's a good amount of habitat from what, 15 to 100 miles out? No, I would say a really good habitat, a really good bottom starts around 45 miles or so and then runs all the way to the continental shelf and, and really gets good. And uh, that's one of the things about Galveston and, or the upper Texas coast. The further you go, the further you go, it, it gets better and better and better as far as habitat, size of fish, everything. So it's a unique place. You know, the stuff in shore is real muddy and uh, the stuff offshore gets a, you get more hard bottom, which is what the fish really, really like. But, you know, snapper tend to, they spawn in the mud, so if you have a good mud areas, you get a high uh, spawning rate. maybe an hour. Um, what, what do we got about a uh, little over two baskets? Yeah. We've probably got about 125 pounds right now. And how is fishing? Fishing's good. I mean the water's off color so they're not biting great but they're biting okay and uh, nice eating size. I mean I think everybody's getting a bite every time they go down. So uh, and the fish will come up every once in a while they just won't stay up in the water with this sandy water. You know. <laughs> We're catching a bunch, we're gonna have a bunch of nice fish to eat. Yeah, so that, that 120 pounds is about a little less than 60 kilos in an hour. They're not bad. Not bad. Taking a There's Robert with the big one. Well, he's not as big as I thought, but he was, he's a power swimmer. Get a, send an email to the fish house letting them know what time this boat's going to hit their dock and it's also going to send my wife a text 
or in the email and let her know what time I'm going to hit the dock. So, uh, vessel name, my name, uh, my account number, uh, time, how many pounds of fish are on the boat, all that was just basically set to now. So I have to do like, once again, three hours notification. And so I've got to kind of time it. And I have one hour after my hail in time to be at the dock. And so they give you an hour of, of flub, you know, messing up your math. So it works really well. And this is a, this is a great thing. I can also send emails and texts from this through the satellite link and uh, good safety feature to have on the boat. And, uh, works right along with this catch share program really well. Uh, here's about half the catch. Yeah, we generally don't put the whole bunch out on the deck. So how much we get? About three hours fishing? Uh, we're going to weigh them in a minute for probably about 340. 340 pounds? Maybe 360. So we've unloaded the fish. Those fish are getting cleaned. I've sold these fish to the fish house. They're my customer. Y'all went along for the harvest. Now you've chosen to buy some of the harvest, these harvested fish. The folks that went out today is the riders on the catch share experience. Walk around to the market side, they're looking at some shrimp and other things. They've, they've, they've decided to purchase part of this catch and then they'll deal with the fish house on buying those fish. So you don't do anything with me, you just go on a free fishing trip, get to be part of the harvest and know that you're getting fresh fish because you caught it.